Now, a 10 News Morning Original. New reporting, first at 6. With so many people staying home, the coronavirus may be having a positive impact on the environment. 10 News reporter Jared Aaron spoke with researchers from UC San Diego who say they can already see air quality improving around the world. Uh, this isn't the right reason to be changing the environment. Um, we should be doing it because we want to do it, not because we're forced to do it. UC San Diego climate professor Ralph Keeling says it's too soon to know exactly what impact social isolation will have on climate change. But he knows it's good, at least in the short term. I would compare it to uh, like a bathtub. If you turn down the tap on a bathtub, you look at the spigot, you can tell there's less water flowing in. But if you look at the level of the tub, you don't see immediately that the level's rising more slowly. Scientists around the world are seeing a difference. A report in the New York Times showed nitrogen dioxide levels in New York, L.A., and Seattle are significantly lower than last year. And the European Space Agency found the same results across Spain, France, and Italy. In Venice, video shows clearer water flowing through the canals as Italians remain on lockdown. What this is telling us is that environments can spring back very, very quickly um, in terms of animal and plant life um, if, if, um, if we stop stressing it. Cripps Institution of Oceanography professor Jeremy Jackson says ocean wildlife could also bounce back as fisheries shut down and shipping slows. But it's a balancing act. The worse it gets for us and the economy, the better for the environment. If we go into a depression, then industrial output and activity is going to take a long time to recover. And that very grim news will make a big dent on environmental damage. Both professors say there can be long-term benefits for the environment, but only if people and businesses continue some of their new isolation habits after the pandemic ends. I'm cautiously hopeful that perhaps this whole business will um, give us a slightly increased sense of humility about what we can get away with. We'd of course like to bend the curve for CO2 as well as bending the curve for the coronavirus. Um, that'll take sustained uh, changes, not just short-term changes. Scientists warn this climate reprieve could be short-lived because if governments turn to cheaper, more polluting industries like oil or gas to jumpstart the economy after this, it could negate all the gains. Jared Aarons, 10 News. 10 News trying to find positive stories throughout the coronavirus pandemic. If you have an uplifting story to share, we'd like to hear it. Email us at tips at 10news.com. Let's check back in with Megan on our weather. Megan, I'm not sure, sure which side to root for. We want the economy to be healthy at the same time. It's like it's great to hear the environment so quickly. Cleaner air, cleaner water. Wow. Yeah, I really I really hope it's a wake up call for everybody when all of this is over and that we all take our own steps to help this trend as far as climate goes in the best way. So I, the earth has a weird way of regulating itself. And maybe this is just one of those ways, obviously not an ideal way, but we really do need to start thinking about climate change. And this has been a small perk as far as the coronavirus has gone on. 